Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kelly and I are on the Amalfi Coast of Italy and we are currently staying at an Airbnb in Ravello. Today, we're gonna be renting a scooter and driving from Ravello to Positano. The drive is about an hour-ish, says Google Maps, but the roads are pretty windy and steep and such, so we'll yeah. see how long it takes. Yeah. But there are a lot of amazing stops along the way. And awesome views. Make sure to stick around until the end of this video because we're going to be sharing with you some very valuable tips that you're going to want to know about, about driving along the Amalfi Coast on a scooter. Yeah, so we are staying in Ravello. There's a lot of different places to stay yeah. along the Amalfi Coast. Our hometown. Yes, and somewhere that we would very highly recommend being your home base if you like to be kind of outside of the busyness. Mm -hmm. Like for us, we can walk around the streets for a few hours and then yeah. we're like, get us out of here. So staying here at this Airbnb, we'll actually link this Airbnb below. It's so nice. It is stunning views. It's not that far from mm -hmm. the rest of the Amalfi Coast. It's a little bit cheaper and a little bit quieter. They have a beautiful square up top and also beautiful gardens that overlook the ocean and the rest of the coastline. Stunning spots to hit up if you are planning to come to Ravello. One of the things that Ravello stands out for besides the rest of the towns along the Amalfi Coast is the fact that it is one of the highest. So views are known here. Yes. There is one garden in particular called Villa Cimbrone and they have what is called the Terrace of Infinity that gives pretty sweet views out oh, yeah. over the coast. And just honestly walking around the town, it was a lot more lively than we were expecting. It we was, were kind of expecting yeah. it to be kind of just like a sleepy little town, but there was dance lessons in the square by the church and tons of shops, tons of restaurants, really good gelato, really good pizza. Can't go wrong really. We do have an Italy travel guide for adventure lovers that covers all of our favorite places in Italy. From the best hikes in the Dolomites to renting your own boat to explore the Amalfi Coast, this guide has everything you need to know. Covering places like Venice, Rome, Florence, Cinque Terre, Amalfi, Capri, and the Dolomites in detail, let us take care of all of the research so that all you have to do is show up and enjoy. We have already got a ton of great feedback on this guide and cannot wait to share it with you. We will link it below. Make sure to check it out. There is a scooter rental shop called Ravello Rent-A-Scooter and it's about 65 euros for a day, which isn't too, too bad. If you rent it for more than one day, you obviously get a bit of a discount. So that is where we are headed. After picking up our motorcycles, we took off towards our first stop. We decided not to do these stops in order, just to try to avoid the crowd, but you could easily do this in any order you'd like. Arrived at stop number one. Fiorde di Ferrari. That was good, that was really good. <laughs> the beach with the bridge, it's like tucked back. It's really cool. There's boats coming in and out constantly. So if you're on a boat tour, this is a for sure stop, I bet. There's also a lot of cliff jumping along here, so if you're into that. This ocean was pretty warm too. Yeah, it honestly. was pretty warm. Yeah. We thought this stop was going to be the busiest for sure throughout the day. When we first got here, there was two people on the beach and this is about 30 minutes later. So 11 a.m. Yeah. on a Friday. Glad to do this. Yeah. yeah, there's not a lot of parking. There's not a lot of parking. <laughs> we parked up further and then walked our way down. If it was super busy in high season, I would probably suggest parking it. There's a small restaurant you'll see with a parking lot just off the road. If you grab a bite to eat there and then come to the beach parking spree. So I'd probably suggest that. Even that parking lot's small though. Continuing on. On to the next one. So next, we drove about 30 more minutes to Positano, which is probably the most picturesque and famous town along the Amalfi Coast. For sure, it's so beautiful. The colors, the ocean, went for a swim. It was really nice. Yeah, it's all very nice. It's very busy, but yes. it is worth the visit. Yeah. You can walk around, there's lots of little shops. Welcome to Positano. And we got pizza, gelato. Pizzerias, pizza. restaurants, like yeah. everything is good. And honestly, every corner you turn, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. Getting to Positano on a scooter is a great option. 
parking can be challenging. So through the town, it's just a big one-way circle. So we were recommended by the scooter rental company to just find a parking lot. Mm -hmm. And that is definitely what we recommend to do. We'll give you a little bit more information about driving at the end of the video and yeah. what the different colors mean and everything like that. But you just find a parking lot. I think it was three euros an hour. It wasn't that bad. No. And that way you just, you know that nothing bad's gonna happen to your motorcycle and it's... If you try to like sneak into a parking spot where you're not supposed to be parking, it's not gonna work out for you. It's a no-no. Yeah. yeah, so it's worth it to just do that. And then you're not wasting time driving around trying to find a parking spot either. Mm -hmm. After spending a few hours in Positano, we made our way back to Praiano. Praiano distinguishes itself by providing a more relaxed alternative to the bustling environment in Positano or Amalfi. The town's quieter atmosphere allows visitors to appreciate the natural beauty of the Amalfi Coast without the crowds offering a more immersive experience. Here you can walk narrow alleyways as you admire historic churches, pastel colored houses, and local shops and restaurants. Next we headed down to Amalfi. Yes, which is obviously the namesake for this region and it is mm -hmm. a really beautiful area as well there is parking if you're coming back from Positano you're just going to want to take a right and right down by the water and the harbor there's a lot of motorcycle parking down there yeah it's right by the main ferry terminal easy fun Yes, and then you can walk up. We just kind of walked up the main street in Amalfi. There's a really beautiful cathedral there. Yeah. And we ate at the best restaurant. Yeah. It was called Pizzeria Donastella, and it was actually recommended to us by some of our friends back at home. Mm -hmm. And just go there. It's like Amalfi is so busy when you're walking down the main street, and then you kind of just duck off into this little lemon grove. Delicious. Yeah, we're still talking about it. Like if it wasn't so far from Ravello, we would be eating there every night. Yeah. The beaches on Amalfi are also very picturesque. We headed back down the next morning actually yes. to see sunrise and it was stunning. We were on the beach and someone actually walked over and was like, there's a movie set right here, so don't mess anything up, which you can imagine, it's a movie set. Like it's, it's stunning. The beach that we went back down to for sunrise is called Spiaggia di Atrani. It is kind of just one cove over from Amalfi and it is very beautiful. So time for our tips for renting a scooter along the coast. First off, the best parts about it. It's super cheap, gas is cheap. We spent four euros on gas. It's very convenient. It's easier to find parking. There's just a lot of positives about it. Honestly, I wouldn't want to drive a vehicle here because the roads are very small and windy and you hear yeah. a lot about the danger of the roads on the Amalfi Coast. We didn't really feel any of that in a scooter because you could just no. drive slow. Kind slow of down, like, take your time. Yeah. People will just pass you. So. If you get nervous, just pull over, yeah. it's totally fine. Another big pro is you get less car sick. If you get car sick, <laughs> I get very car sick and I've been super nauseous driving around in a car here, but like when you're on a scooter, definitely less car sick. So that brings us to some of the rules. First up is parking. Don't park where you're not allowed to because you will get in trouble and cops will pick it out. There's only one main road that goes along this coastline and cops cruise up and down it. So don't park where you're not supposed to. Only park in blue, or yellow? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only park in blue or white. Blue is paid, white it's is free. free. Yellow is for... Residents only. Yes. So, so no tourists, no rental, do not no, park in yeah. any yellow lines. Do not park in vehicle parking also, only yeah. in the moped squares. You can understand being a local in one of these areas, it would be frustrating, there's no, like, trying to find parking. Um, the police kind of let it slide when locals park where they're not supposed to, or just kind of on the side of the road they will not let it slide for tourists. And if you park in a car spot, they will tow you. So yeah. just park in parking lots or paid parking. Yeah, next up, lock everything up. Lock the wheel, lock all your cubbies on your scooter. Apparently things will get stolen here a lot. So make sure to lock everything up. Always, always, always stick to the right-hand side of the road. These roads can get busy. Buses come around the corners quickly and it's just important to let people pass also. Something else to keep in mind actually, if you're from North America where people don't usually just honk to let you know that they're there, they honk because they're mad. Here, it's actually really nice. People will just honk if they're gonna pass you, kind of just to let you know that 
they're there. And the last rule of driving here, there are limited traffic zones. So we actually never came across any of these signs, but we were warned about them. We'll put it up on the screen here somewhere, show you what it looks like. But if you see one of these, do not pass it. Very expensive fine that comes if you cross into these zones. So just turn right around if you see one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. See you next week.